Hey, my name is Colin Cruz. I'm a, a musician, a singer, and a, a songwriter. And uh, you are in my hood in Northcliffe, um, chatting to Vasine. Okay, Colonel. So, my first question is if you were to hide a dead body, where would you hide it? <laughs> well, um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't hide a dead body. I would. Uh, I would get a certain type of peroxide and fill a bath with it, and drop the dead body inside the bath of peroxide. By doing so, I'd remove all traces. Okay, I'm a little bit scared of you. Um, <laughs> second question. Yeah, yeah, that's the light I mean, side yeah, of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. You asked for it. You asked for it. I, I just watch a lot of. Look, the, the, the Mentalist in Blacklist is one of my favorite TV shows. I know all the tricks. I was speaking of which, that's my next question. What do you PDR it? Uh, so the Mentalist just finished. Mm -hmm. um, I just started watching this really cool show called um, Mozart in the Jungle. Uh, I think it's brand new. Mm -hmm. I saw it on, on box office on PBR in that. Otherwise, I really enjoy this Brooklyn Nine Nine. Have you ever seen it? Oh, it's like a crime drama, but it's really funny. It's got Adam Sand uh, Sandberg in it and um, oh. Game of Thrones. I can't wait for that to come out. Okay. And New Girl. I really dig that. Okay. Um, if you had one song on the album that you were to make me listen to for the rest of my life, mm. which one would it be? Damaged People. Damaged People 1. So that's for my debut album, yeah? Okay. I just think I sing the hell out of it. And uh, <laughs> for my new album, um, I, would, I would force feed you to listen to I Am Your Man. It's, uh, it hasn't been released yet, but when it does, listen out for that because um, I'm very proud of it in the sense that it's it's the song I've I've written most recently, and I think, although I, I'm sure people say this a lot about their own work, I think it's the best thing I've ever done. So I'm really proud of it. So if you want to watch, listen to something, listen to that. Okay, perfect. Um, in your bedroom, what would you say is your most prized possession? In my, in my bedroom only? Yes, only in your bedroom. My bedroom's quite sparse, are you sure? Oh, I have a, I have a, I have a painting in my bedroom. It's, a, it's actually not a painting, it's a... How would you describe it? It's a, it's a piece of art that a friend of mine did for me, a really special friend. And it's basically the wave form of Not Just Friends, which is my first single that I ever released. And uh, if someone walked into the room, and they saw it, they'd be like, what is that? I mean it, but I think it's quite, I'm quite sentimental like that. So that's, that's the most valuable thing in my life. Okay, and finally, um, what's the most important thing that you've learned in the journey so far? I've learned a lot, so to classify it as most important, To be an artist, to be a, a songwriter, to be a musician, the most important thing I've learned is how to work well with other people and in doing so, to do so, not to be precious about it. There are a lot of times when um, you really believe in something with regards to your music and you've got to stand up for it because you believe in it. But then there's other times when you've really got to listen and take other people's perspectives into consideration, especially when you're writing a song. There's no point in being really precious about something. Oh no, you can't let go. Oh, that guitar line is so good. You can't. No. Just sacrifice it for the good of the song. I once, I once heard something. Um, you can tell you're a great editor when you're able to cut your favorite part, um, if that's what it takes to get a great song. So the most important thing I've learned so far is don't be precious about it. Can you let all your people know what you're doing? I will. Please come to my show. I'm all uh, well, my shows. I'm doing a, a national tour around South Africa. Um, going to barnyard theaters around the country. Um, I'm going to be in Pretoria this weekend. Livonia next weekend. And Durban the weekend afterwards. And uh, Park Life in Johannesburg in May. Uh, 
Um, so please check out my music online. I've got the sick lyric video for Into the Wild that's available on YouTube. Um, and otherwise, I'll see you uh, everywhere where people are hanging. Instagram, Vine, Twitter, Snapchat, add me.